Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to today's video where I'll be showcasing what's left of my childhood McDonald's toy collection. Let me tell you guys, this is going to be a bittersweet video because it was so fun to be able to find these again, put them all out and I'm going to take a look at each of them and show you guys. But the bitter side to the sweetness is that as I look at these, I remember all the ones I had and unfortunately no longer do have. You know, we grow up, we move homes, in my case, multiple times, and some toys got ruined, some got lost. So these truly are the ones that survived. And for that, I definitely am going to start off by giving them an applause because there were lots of changes. But, but yeah, just a quick disclaimer or a few quick disclaimers before I show you each of them individually. So I might not remember some of their names correctly, but don't worry, I will be posting imagery to let you know which collection they're from on screen, but I'll be doing this vocally um, from the top of my head. And another thing is that some of them will be missing pieces because again, this is from my childhood. So, you know, some of them might have chips, scratches, although most of them seem to look good, which is surprising. Um, but yeah, and you also may hear me mention other collections or other toys from, you know, the collections as I go through them, I'll be remembering stuff. Because yeah, I had more than, than the ones that I have now, but I am very happy and humble to have the ones I still do. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at each toy that's left from this collection. So the first toy in this collection we're gonna be taking a look at is this one right here, which funnily enough, we're not only starting with chronologically the oldest, but also one that I think is just such a perfect fit as the first, a Happy Meal box, because of course that's what the toys used to come in. Uh, now this one is, I'm cheating a bit with you guys on this one because I didn't get this one myself, it was my sister's, but I did play with it as a kid. It did get passed down to me. Uh, this one was released in 1990, not sure if you can see it here. So 1990 was a few years before I was born. And this one was a Happy Meal box that when you opened it up, it was a dinosaur. So a dinosaur, a bit like a transformer that became a Happy Meal box. Oh, this is a bit hard to open. No pressure on camera, <laughs> right? But here he is, a dino Happy Meal box. I remember playing with this, yeah. I definitely remember playing with this one. I think this collection also had McDonald's fries that turned into like a robot of some sort. Well, that might be from a different collection now. You will hear me mention ones that aren't on camera because I'm remembering ones that I had. I think it was from this collection too. But anyway, this is the first one I'm showing you guys. And this is how we're gonna kick off the collection. So here he is. The second toy I'm gonna to show you guys from my collection is this lion, which is from the year 2000. I believe I got this one while I was on holiday in Portugal. And it says 2000 here, right? Yep. Sorry, I don't think you guys saw that, but don't worry. Um, and so this lion, he's got a bit of a smudge on his face. I don't know his name. I think I used to call him either Leo or Leonard or Lenny the lion, because I'm remembering that now that I'm looking at him. But this is from the year 2000, so I was like five years old. Jesus Christ. I do remember this one vividly. And yeah, I will be inserting, of course, here somewhere a photo for you guys to see what collection he's from. But I don't know if he's from a TV show. I just know I'm looking at him and I'm thinking Leonard the Lion. Does that ring any bells? Yeah, definitely an old one, but a very nostalgic one. And moving on now to some other plushies from the year 2000, we have the McDonald's Disneyland Paris Finger Puppets. So here at the back, all of them say 2000 Disneyland Paris. These, of course, were costumes that the Disney characters wore during a parade. A parade, of course, for the new millennium, the year 2000. So you insert your fingers like this. They're supposed to be kids' fingers, <laughs> not giant adult ones. Um, and you make them clap like this. You can move their hands like this. Minnie was my favourite. Here she is in a kimono. Very beautiful. Definitely my favourite. I also had Mickey, he was dressed as an astronaut, and I had one of the chipmunks. And so this is Donald from the collection. He's dressed in Mexican attire, if I'm not mistaken. Here he has a sombrero that's purple. And the same thing happens, so you put your fingers here. Let me see if the camera is focusing. So of course you're supposed to make them move. They have these pads, so you can 
stick their fingers together, their hands together. And here is Daisy in a beautiful blue dress with purple flowers. So I've got Donald, Daisy and Minnie from the collection. And it's a great collection. I think it's one of the more popular ones amongst collectors of fast food toys. So that is that on these guys. Now this next toy is a crocodile and I initially thought that he was actually from Peter Pan because I had a couple of the Peter Pan released ones. Uh, and you know, there was a crocodile always trying to get Captain Hook. But actually this toy is from the Emperor's New Groove which is pretty funny. I haven't seen that movie in so long. You remember Cusco and Yzma and Kronk? So he is a wind-up toy, I believe. We're gonna try and see if he still works. It's been so many years, but of course you can still pretend that he's chomping or trying to chomp someone. <sighs> uh, and let's see how this works out. So we're gonna twist him. Hmm. Yeah, doesn't work that well, but that's what he is. Oh, don't keep going. <laughs> uh, and yeah, cro a crocodile from The Emperor's New Groove. This next toy is from another Disney movie. I had quite a few from Disney films. McDonald's used to release a bunch. And this one, I believe, is from Lilo and Stitch. It's either an emperor or an empress and a very alien looking one. I don't think the camera can focus on the face, unfortunately. I tried this a few moments ago and it doesn't want to focus on the alien's face. But it's an alien emperor or empress. And yeah, they've got their hands out. So maybe they were supposed to hold something. I think they had a yellow cape. You guys will see by the image I insert what's missing. But yeah, now they live on in my toy collection as a Lord Sith lookalike from, what is it, Emperor Palpatine? Or, you know, the creepy one from Star Wars that looks like an alien himself, like a dried up old <laughs> prune. That's what this one reminds me of. And speaking of Disney movies, we're now moving on to probably one of my favorite McDonald's collections. A very short one I have left. There are only four here, and one of them's not even from the same line. Um, but it's, of course, Monsters, Inc., a very iconic movie. So we're gonna start off with the odd one out. Now, although this isn't from the same collection, it's from the same film, so he definitely fits in. This toy is either the fast food American or Australian Sully, I believe, because I remember I had the UK one and he was a, a small soft plush, which I thought was quite weird because, you know, he's taller than Mike Wazowski in the film. But yeah, so I have this Sully that I think I got at a charity shop or a car boot sale, and it ended up fitting in better than the UK one. So he puts his arms up. This is Sully, of course, from Monsters, Inc. You can, I think you can rotate them the whole way. Yep. You can rotate his head, which is kind of giving uh, Exorcist, if you really wanna do something creepy. Oh God, Boo would crap her pants if he did that. Uh, but that's about it. Yeah, so he isn't from the UK one, but I had him as a kid. And he fit, I think he fit this collection better than the one that was released in Europe and the UK. I say the UK and Europe because I think they get the same. Uh, but yeah, here's Mike Wazowski. His teeth are chipped, as you can see. I used to put stuff in his mouth like coins and stuff. Oh God, and his eye, of course, it's a bit stained. Let me just focus. But I really did love this one. And I almost thought I was gonna finish this collection when I was a kid. I came so close, I only needed one. His arms stretch out. So that's Mike. Uh, and yeah, Mike Wazowski. He was one of the first I got from that collection. I remember. His feet also move. Love Monsters, Inc. It's a great movie. It is a great movie. And now, of course, I'm going to show you my favourite character from Monsters, Inc., Celia. I was so happy when I got Celia. Absolutely love her. Here she is. If you press down on her here, this is what happens. This is the gimmick. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. I guess they're trying to show her her, her snake hair move, because in the movie they did hiss at one point. Let me just see if it focuses. 
Her arms, like Mike, can be stretched out. Uh, and yeah, I loved her design. Celia was awesome. And then the last one from McDonald's I still have is Randall, who was also a wind-up toy. His head is very loose. It's purposely like that. You can move his... Should I call them hands? <laughs> he's got quite a few legs and hands. Uh, yeah, he's supposed to mimic a chameleon, I believe. He was the villain of Monsters, Inc. And let's see if I twist his tail. Does he still move? Let me just move the others out of the way. Let's see if Randall... I think he might work. Let's see. Yeah, he walks a bit. He walks a bit. So this is my Randall toy from Monsters, Inc. This next collection is another favourite of mine. It's the Mr. Men and Little Miss, or should I say one of the Mr. Men and Little Miss collections, because there were many. And we're going to start off by seeing Little Miss Sunshine. Let me move these aside. So McDonald's also did tons of Mr. Men and Little Miss toys, from plushes to these that are hard plastic. And her nose used to turn red, I think, or her cheeks. Yeah, I think it was her cheeks. They used to have blush, but I don't think it works anymore. The gimmick is supposed to touch these buttons, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's Little Miss Sunshine. And I still have the book she came with. Each of them came with a book. So it's surprising that I still have the book she came with. It's a small little book. I'm not going to read them, of course, in this video, but I will quickly show you them or hers. And here we have Mr. Bump. I also have his book. So here's Mr. Bump's figurine. He came with these plasters that you can stick on him. Let me see if the camera focuses to show you guys. So you could stick these on him. I didn't use them. And his book, let's take a look, because I also have his. His book is this one. So let me show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Poor Mr. Bump. Always getting hurt. Typical Mr. Bump. I used to love Mr. Men and Little Miss when I was a kid. I think loads of people did. So these were quite popular. Poor Mr. Bump. And then the last one I still have from this collection is Miss Splendid. Oh, she's ever so vain. Oh, that's how she used to speak in the cartoon. She comes with a magnifying glass. And I think I have her book somewhere, but I couldn't find it, I'm afraid. So she comes with a magnifying glass. She was quite vain. Her hand moves. And yeah, she used to carry with her a mirror, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm so splendid. Oh. And from Mr. Men and Little Miss, we now move on to Little Monsters. So these are two of the Little Monsters toys. I remember having four. I also had Revolting Ronnie, and I think the other one was called Dangerous Dave or Daring Dave. Anyway, but these are the two I have left. Let's start off with her. So this is either Perfect Prudence or Proud Prudence. I think that's her name. Anyway, she, I think, was supposed to symbolise the perfect child. Very neat, very tidy, very well behaved. So you can lift her arm her left arm up and down. And yeah, to showcase what a perfect child is, she came with a vacuum so she could clean up her room. And let me just see if it's focusing on camera. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so you'd move this around. And as you did, this middle bit would spin. So that is the vacuum and that is Prudence from Little Monsters. I hope I'm saying her name correctly. You guys will see with the image next to it, if I'm making a mistake. And then the boy I have left is, I think, Wide Awake Wesley. I think that's his name. He looks <laughs> like an insomniac. Yeah, poor guy. 
But when you pull this, he rings and his eyes smack from side to side. So when you pull the, the clock that he comes with, this yellow clock, that is what happens. This is the back of the figurine, for those of you interested in seeing. And let's try it again. So we're gonna pull the clock and see what he does. <laughs> Be a pretty good alarm, right? This would have helped wake kids for school, for sure. So that is Wesley and I believe Prudence. This plush right here is one of Jim Henson's hoobs. This is Ivor, my favorite character. I also had the toy of Tula. She was the pink one. And there are magnets in his hands because if you put them close to each other, they automatically close. So this is Ivor and look, his eyes are wonky. As a kid, I never noticed this. My favourite hoob had wonky eyes in toy form. I think it's just the one I got. But regardless, Ivor's awesome. And that's my McDonald's hoob. Now this next character I'm sure many of you recognise. He is the main villain from Noddy. I haven't seen Noddy in so long. It's not exactly something on my radar to rewatch. So I can't remember his name. I think it's Gobbo. I could be getting that completely wrong. Uh, but he obviously came with something that I no longer have. I think it was like a bowl of, of cherries or something or a pie of some sort. Uh, could have been a pot of gold for all I know. But yeah, so there's something here that it looks like his, sorry, this isn't focusing. His, his hands are supposed to insert in something. It's not wanting to focus, I apologize. But he is, he is a gnome or a goblin. He's a goblin, I think. And yeah, he, he was the villain. And that's all I can say, I'm afraid. He's from the Noddy uh, toy collection, the McDonald's Noddy release. And pressing this button, nothing happens. So maybe he also made a noise. But I'm afraid I, I can't say much on him other than he was the villain from Noddy. <laughs> this next toy is one of a Disney villain. This is Shere Khan, the tiger from The Jungle Book 2. So this toy is from the McDonald's release of the sequel to The Jungle Book. And basically his function is pretty simple. You just go like this and he moves, yeah, he spins. Not much else to say really about this toy. But yeah, that's Shere Khan. Here we have another Disney villain. This is Maleficent, a small figurine of her. And this was from, I believe, the Disney Fanti Illusion parade release. So this was another Disney parade. And I used to think this collection was known as the Disney Villain Collection. <laughs> I had to Google it a few years ago, but I'm really interested in this collection. I remember getting Jafar, but because I wanted one of the girl ones, I ended up swapping him for Maleficent and she came on a dragon float. So it was basically a, a dragon, dragon Maleficent, red, it was red and blue, but unfortunately I lost it. So I'm left with this tiny Maleficent who isn't really a threat to anyone. She really is very small. I hope to get the whole collection one day and review that collection for you guys, but you should definitely check it out on Google. The Fanti Illusion one, it was a Disney villain, mostly Disney villain themed uh, McDonald's release that also had uh, one of Mickey and a toy of Minnie as well. This is Foxy Loxy from Chicken Little. She also came with an acorn. I think it was an acorn shaped home of some sort. And this toy, what can you do? So she's a wind up toy and she flips basically. She's a squirrel. Position her and mm. you really got to wind them up a lot, which is a bit a bit annoying on camera, as you can see. Yeah, it's not working, but she's supposed to flip. So that's what she does. You wind her up and she flips. Here's Michelangelo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If he squeezes legs. Looks like he's gonna punch you. And you can rotate his head from side to side. Here's what the back of him looks like. Cool little figurine. These toys are from the movie Spiderwick. I believe they're from 2008 and are some of the last McDonald's toys I ever got. 
You can rotate their arms up and down. I believe they're called either spirits of nature or spirits of spring. One's pink, one is yellow. And I know that you could look through a sort of looking glass toy. You'd put it in front of their, their chests that have these, these holes and they would light up. But unfortunately, I don't have those pieces anymore. They would light up via this button. Why isn't my camera wanting to focus? But they're cool figurines um, still, very nature themed. So if you like nature, I do recommend looking up the Spiderwick toys. And finally, we have these three toys from Kung Fu Panda. This I believe was the villain. I never watched that movie, I'm afraid. Um, but if you click this button on his back, yeah, I think he was the villain. He'll trip you up, he'll kick you. This was Master or Mistress Tiger. I know that she did a backflip. You can move her tail. Let me just show you a close up of her. Yay, one of them flips, one of them. And this I believe was the main master and he is a wind up toy. So here he is, he's a wind up toy. Let's see if he works. Kind of, <laughs> kind of. Okay guys, and that concludes my childhood McDonald's fast food toy collection. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. If you recognize any of these pieces, did you own any of them? Did you own different characters from some of these collections? Let me know your thoughts. We can discuss it in the comments below, of course. And I hope this has helped bring back some positive nostalgia for some of you guys. Thanks so much for choosing to watch this video and have a great day. Bye guys.